Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Dark versus Bailey. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Dark, you say the defendant is a promiscuous liar who broke your heart four years ago, stepping out on your then relationship. You admit to having a one-night stand with her two years ago, but our furious Ms. Bailey is now claiming you fathered her 11-month-old son which you say is impossible. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Bailey, you say Mr. Dark is a deadbeat who knows full well he is your son Jameer's father. You claim there is no way anyone but Mr. Dark could have fathered your son. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Dark, why would you call Ms. Bailey a promiscuous liar? Your Honor, uh, I've been knowing Ms. Bailey for probably about seven or eight years, and she's had a history of things like this. And I'm just gonna uh, tell you a little bit about... Um... Myself and Miss Bailey, um, we was in a relationship for about four years. Okay. Everything was okay. Everything was pretty good when I first met her. We had some good conversations about establishing us a family and probably having kids, um, things like that. She, we lived together at that time. I left to go out of town to do some work. I was working out of town, out of state, as a matter of fact. I went to Florida to do some work in Florida. While I was going to Florida to do some work, uh, I talked to Miss Bailey about almost every day. I was gone for about three or four days, you know, telling tell me how much she loved me, how much she missed me, and vice versa. I was telling her the same thing because we was in love with each other from my understanding. Um, but when I come back, she was doing her best friend's hair at the house. So I came in from work, I uh, gave her a kiss, whatever, you know, told her that I was gonna walk to the store for a second to grab some things. When I left out of the door to go to the store, her best friend came running out of the door to like, hey, Terrence, wait up for a second, I'm gonna go to the store with you. So, you know, I kind of felt, I thought that was kind of strange, like, why is your, you know? But anyway, we went on to the store. Well, while we was going to the store, her friend started to tell me a story. She was like, well, I just want to tell you something. She was like, well, the whole time that you was gone, she was cheating on you. Her best friend yeah, told you this that? This her best friend told me. Yes, ma'am. And I only did it because I thought you was cheating on me. Okay. But... So you admit you cheated on him? I did. Wow. Okay, and so your best friend told on you? Yep. What happened to your relationship with Miss Bailey at that point? I, I tried to work past it again because of the things that we had already discussed of us being a family and us, you know, trying to work things out, possibly us getting married or whatever the case may be. But I tried to work it past for about uh, approximately a year or so, but I just couldn't take it. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it no more. And so how is it you came back together because Jameer is 11 months old, so that something else had to happen. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, uh, we never stopped. We never stopped dealing with each other along the way. Even though we separated, we still occasionally seen each other every, you know, like two, three, maybe every two months, three months or so. What's dealt with each other mean? We still seen each other occasionally. Seen each other and had sex or yes, just seen each other still and said hello? Still was having sex sometimes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So, you kept having sex until... 2016. It was like early March. You have sex and you didn't use protection? No. no when was Jameer born? November 13th. And you're saying the last time you were really intimate was around in March? Yes. yes. If Jameer's birth date is November 13th, 2016, then, then that means the conception window would be February 17th to February, February 24th, 2016. Exactly. Right. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And you said I you had... all weren't intimate until March. Yes, ma'am. Right. Mm hmm And she had February... early. I'm sorry? And she had I early. I had him early, like... I was due November 30th. Oh, what, a 30th? Okay. Yeah. So what you're saying, Mr. Dark, is this doesn't add up. No, ma'am, no kind of way. Mm. Because you weren't intimate until at least the second week of March. The and first the... week, the first week, around the 6th or 7th of March. So, with the calculation and the date she's right. using, Mr. Dark, you're saying this pregnancy would only been eight months. Yes, So, you believe she was already pregnant when you yes, all were intimate in she March. She had to be already pregnant. And so, I guess I was just a crutch. <laughs> Whatever. Like... Yes, ma'am. You feel like you were a crutch. Yes, ma'am. Because from the beginning, I was there at the hospital when Jameer was born, even with my doubts, because in the back of my mind, I didn't never want to feel like, okay, he really was my son and I didn't do the things that I was supposed to do as a father. I was there when he was born. The onesies and stuff that he took home, okay, so I bought for them. Okay, so why did you sign the birth the pampers, certificate? The pampers that he had, you know... Miss Bailey, what, what's, what are you feeling in this moment? Like, what's I don't, upsetting uh... you? And the reason why I signed the birth certificate to answer your question is because you you told me at the hospital that if I didn't sign it right then, then I no, wouldn't I have another not. opportunity to sign it. You... That's what you told me right there, at the hospital. 
No, I didn't. You didn't have to sign it. I didn't force you to sign it. You if signed I it on your own. If I didn't sign it, what, you, what was going to happen? He won't have your last name. You won't get to sign it. Did you not say that? Okay, but... Okay. You know, you said that. I did that. not tell you that. No, I did not. I said, okay, if you don't sign it, okay, that's on you. That's what What is upsetting you in this moment, Miss Bailey? Because you know court. that... That it is his one. Like, my baby look exactly like him. It's upsetting you because he's denying him? Yes. You don't understand. I yeah, have three other instance, kids that I take care of by myself. Right, right. And you've had this same problem previously. Okay, but I made sure that I wasn't going to do it again. Like, I made sure that you was going to be the only person. Miss Bailey, have you been in a paternity situation no, before? I have. With my ex. You have? Yes. With your ex. So one of your other children, there was a paternity question surrounding that. Yes. And you got it resolved? It was determined? That he wasn't. The biological father. Do you know who your child's biological father is? That yes. child? You do know? Yes, I do. So now history is repeating itself in this moment for you. Yes, it is. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. The question then is, were you intimate in February during the window of conception we outlined between February 17th to February 24th? No, ma'am. No. Both of you said no. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Bailey, I must ask you, respectfully, who were you intimate with during that time no in one. February? No one. I haven't had sex in February. No one. Was Every... the baby a full-term baby? Yes, he was. This is a, it's almost three weeks after. Enough. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm very sure. All right, I'd like to hear from your witness. Please stand, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I don't even understand why she's here. And you can step up to the podium. State your name for the court. My name is Yana Bradley. Miss Bradley, thank you for joining us. You are what relationship to Mr. Dark? I'm his current girlfriend and I'm pregnant with his oh, child. Now <laughs> girlfriend. Okay. What would you like to tell the court? Well, first, my, in my personal opinion, I don't feel like the baby looks like him. That's just, just my personal opinion. So you do not feel like there is a physical resemblance? No. What else do you know about the paternity well, situation? Well, my due date is November 19th. My conception date is February 24th. Oh. oh. And we're now one year later, but what you're saying is, is that you have a similar due date yes. as the one that was presented for Jameer, as, as when Jameer was born. Right. Yes. Okay, well, we're two different people. Like... It don't matter. But still... And my baby You're two different, different people, Miss Bailey, but at the same time, comparatively, there's gonna be a child that will potentially be born around the same time as yours, exactly one year later, which further indicates that this window of time of Fe February 17th to February 24th is a more realistic time frame. I understand, but still, like I said, he was the only person that I was having sex with. Yeah, you said this the same to the, the previous guy. You told him the same exact thing. You no, were the I only am. person. Miss Bailey has a history of attached men. That's what she liked. Okay. A history of attached yes, men. Yes, ma'am. I grew Explain. up with like, my parents, so she, I want she, him uh, she to likes be there for to, my baby. She, it's like to me, I think she likes to destroy homes. Like, she likes How? to deal with attached men. Like... How? You're saying she likes to deal with attached men. Yes, Are you an attached man now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, have you been dealing with her while you were attached? No, 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 ma'am. But it, it, probably not because I did. I, yes, he were. Probably yes, because... he were. He was calling my phone asking me could he come over and have sex with me. <laughs> Just, that's a lot, Your Honor. I got text messages that... <laughs> that I done showed to my girl when she wasn't even here. Sean with Jessica, like, oh, it's just me and Jameer tonight. You want to come watch a movie with us? You want... Like, no. Yeah, no. so you can be there for your child. You no. don't never come over. I don't have over. to come over there at you 10 o'clock at night and watch a movie with you to be there for okay, him. Okay, so I you did work, too. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you Why would I want to another, make another one by you and you don't even do for the so first one? So, Jameer is 11 months old. What has been your relationship That's with That's why you don't have child? your first child, because you don't I've, do for I've her. Been, I was in um, Jameer's life. I've been a part of his life. I've gotten him. I've taken him with me. I've kept him. I took him to Alabama with me when I went to my granny's funeral. 
last month. And my whole wow, family, for all the, the whole couple family of days because said that what? that's not your child. So when you brought Jameer with you to your family member's funeral... Yes, ma'am. Your whole family said whole you, family. that's not your child. The whole family. My mama said, boy, if you don't get that baby out of here... <laughs> I'm telling you, that's exactly what she said to me. Listen, ultimately, it's Jameer's life mm-hmm. that's truly at stake in this moment because your relationship seems to be resolved, but the paternity question has not been resolved. Right. What are you hoping for, Ms. Bailey? That he step up and that he um, do for my baby. Like, I don't understand. And I grew up without my parents, so I want him to be there for Jameer. Um, So you're saying you grew up without your parents? I did. And it was very hard for me. (laughs) I can only imagine. And it was and very you hard. do not want that for your son. No. I don't. Yes. I knew there was something more behind the tears. And, and this situation is painful enough, but I've done this long enough to know that there was more behind the tears you're feeling. And even maybe some of the accusations Mr. Dark has testified to in terms of your choice in partners, what you've been through. It's... It's, it's difficult when you don't have your parents. But, Judge, I just, like, it's, it's so much she say I don't want to do for him. I bought him probably, like, uh, about 15 ones when he first was born and some You did not stuff. buy him and nothing. I, and I took him to her or whatever, but it because of the fact that... It was that already worn for someone else. Because of the fact that another lady had gave me these things or whatever, okay, but so it was because you you her baby never, never worn. They well, let me be clear. Even if he has not bought him something... He will be buying him things and paying child support because you put your name on that birth certificate Mm -hmm. and that makes you the legal father. You do understand that, right? Okay. And this is yet another reason why the stakes are so high today is because you have basically acknowledged paternity. By signing that birth certificate, you have said to your state, I am acknowledging that I'm the father of this child, which means you're responsible to take care of the child. You're going to be responsible for child support for this child. Mm -hmm. And this is what is problematic because many men don't understand that when they are in that moment, if they have doubt, they cannot sign a birth certificate and I don't care what type of stress, duress, I do not care. You can't do that because at that point, you are putting yourself on the hook as the father of this child. And there is no guarantee that a state will remove your name from that birth certificate. You have to petition. Even if today it is determined that Jameer is not your biological child, that does not change the fact that you are his legal father. And this courtroom is about, of course, resolving paternity issues for children. But it's also about empowering and informing people about what they need to do in situations like this because this is not this is not some momentary thing you're responsible for this child he's only 11 months old and you got another one on the way jerome i'm ready for the results (laughs) these results were prepared by dna diagnostics and they read as follows If you need paternity court, call us at 855-883-6223. In the case of Dark versus Bailey, when it comes to 11-month-old Jameer Dark, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Dark, you are the father. You are the father. I told you that he was yours. Your word ain't man. <laughs> okay. So listen, when I first told you you were the father, Mr. Dark, I saw genuine emotion on your face because I felt like in that moment you understood that for almost a year, this baby has been denied and questioned and he doesn't deserve that. Right. And I have to say this to you. Yes, Ms. Bailey has made mistakes. Yes, she has had these situations before. 
But let's be clear, it could not have happened unless you participated too. So for all the blame we want to just put on her, really, this is both of your doing. And the only person that's truly suffered is Jameer because he's almost one and he really hasn't felt the full, complete love of his daddy. You don't know whether or not he has absorbed that negativity or that rejection. We have no way of knowing because he can't speak for himself and that's why this courtroom will speak for him. And Ms. Bailey, I want you to understand that even though you didn't grow up with your parents, and I know in many ways you are looking for stability, love, acceptance. You've been out in the world as a young woman giving yourself away and engaging in activity that does not serve you. And you understand that, right? Right, I do. You're a beautiful young woman, but that doesn't mean you go lay down with every man that says you're cute. That's right. And I want you all to take advantage of the counseling and the resources we have for you because it's important that you begin to talk about these issues so that you can stop this pattern. And Mr. Dark, you got to get in there and make up for 11 months. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Take advantage of the counseling and the resources we have for you. I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you.